you are about the skinniest asparagus I've ever seen. <laughs> asparagus, you're so skinny, you make string beans look chubby. Boom! Zucchini, oh, you're such a weenie. You're really just cucumbers, less popular sister. Hey. Hey, why are you insulting the vegetables? I'm roasting them. I told you that's what I was going to be doing. We're having roasted vegetables for dinner. Oh, I get it. So it's like roast like insult them for comedic effect and as a tribute. As a tribute? Okay. Yeah, you only roast with love. You only roast things that are strong and can take it and have done great service in their time. You want to yeah. try? Uh, I don't even know that I'd know how to do it. I mean, I, I think you need to like do a demonstration for like how one properly roasts a vegetable. I thought oven, spices, oil, salt and pepper and mm -hmm. things were involved. Oh, no, Joe, you think no. you know everything about cooking. You can't even roast a vegetable. <laughs> I guess I'm getting roasted now. That's how you that's, do it. That's more just like denigrating Boom. my skills. <laughs> Will you play along if I give you a good example? I will try. All right. I mean, see, look at that cauliflower over there. Hey, cauliflower, you think you're so trendy. You think you can make yourself into all sorts of other foods. You can be mashed potatoes. You can be rice. You can be a steak. You can be a friggin' pizza crust. Well, let me tell you something, cauliflower. You're still just a pale vegetable. Boom! Roasted! <laughs> oh, potato! Yeah! You're so fancy! They had a whole famine named after you! Epic fail, potato! Um, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, potato, I see you. I see you. Okay, that's right. And you're not much. Okay. All so right. we got to the We're insult eventually. Eventually, yeah. Uh, it's it <clears throat> can start with a pun. That's okay. Like, yeah. Okay, okay, sweet potato. Yeah. You're no yeah. different than the other potatoes. There's nothing about you that makes you sweet. Your favorite song is "I Am What I Am." <laughs> Roasted. Okay. Roasted. <laughs> you think okay. you're so good at juggling? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry. Potato juggling. That's probably even better than. The double roast. Yeah. We are eventually going to put them in the oven, season okay. them, roast them, roast them proper. Ooh, potato, no one likes you for who you are. They only want you in chipper vodka form. Roasted. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, onion, what's the matter? You're going to cry. <laughs> Roasted. Roasted. <laughs> okay. Pepper, pep him. Roasted. Sweet potato. Um... No one really likes you. <laughs> <laughs> I like sweet potato. That's getting personal. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's a little over the line. Sweet potato, what sweet potato, what's so sweet about you? I mean, you're not a banana. Roasted. Cauliflower. Okay. What you doing? Just lying there, pretending like you're a California flower. Everyone knows you're not. Roasted. I think I've created a monster. <laughs> oh, Lorelei, oh, what no, you doing? Cooking things? <laughs> Like a nutritionist does? Well, I got news for you. Vegetables. Roasted. <laughs> and thus, the vegetables have been roasted. And now we're going to double roast them by putting them in the oven. Three tips for roasting vegetables. Hot, three fingers, let's see. Hot oven, dry vegetables, single layer. We're going to season them as well. But we're going to start with asparagus. Asparagus, you can do just like it is. You don't really have to cut it. I might snap off the ends here. A tip about asparagus, if you just bend, usually you'll get the end to snap off. Usually the end will snap off so that you lose the tough part of the spear. And that's ideally what you want to do. So snap, boom, toss that away, snap. You can cut them as well, so if you feel like this is too much. But this just gives you a better sense because sometimes there's a really long woody end and sometimes it's very short. So these asparagus are pretty skinny, so they're not going to take very long to roast. Don't mix all your vegetables together when you roast. I am going to do a mix today, but generally you want to just keep in mind some vegetables cook faster than others. So if I were going to mix together asparagus and sweet potato, the asparagus would get done way before the sweet potato and either I'd have uncooked sweet potato or burnt asparagus by the time I was done. When you toss them off camera, they just disappear. 
These I think are gonna fit on one tray, but if they can't all have their own space on the tray, use a separate tray. You really do wanna lay them flat. I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. You don't need a lot, just enough so that it's gonna coat it. And some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna put all of these on and just use my hands. Get your hands dirty, it's okay. So keeping it simple, asparagus has a good distinctive flavor. Like I said, these are dry. If there's, you have to wash them obviously, but if they're still a little wet when they go in the oven, they're gonna steam. If you wanna get a good roast, you want them to be dry. And that's gonna bring out some of the flavors a little bit differently. My oven is at 400, so hot oven is the other key that I mentioned. So we're gonna put these in while we have those cooking. We're gonna do the other ones. They are not gonna all be done at the same time. Like I said, some go faster than others, but I'm just gonna demonstrate how you do a bunch of different kinds of vegetables. Lots of vegetables can be roasted. So I'm gonna do a mix today with potatoes and onion and pepper and zucchini. Potatoes and onions are probably gonna roast at about the same amount of time, and maybe the pepper. The zucchini actually is probably gonna be done a little faster. If I were just doing sliced zucchini and roasting it, I would wanna do it separate. But if it gets a little mushy in this mix, I'm okay with that because it is kind of a blend. So I'm gonna chop these all up and then I'm gonna throw them on a pan and you can chop things into pretty big chunks so the onion doesn't need to be diced really fine or anything like that. And then I'm gonna use a spice blend on this one. Well, my friend Anne, who uh, runs a little spice shop, sent me some spice blends. This is an Italian herb blend and it's got nothing but herbs in it. So we've got parsley and oregano and thyme and basil and sage and rosemary. And I think this blend is gonna go super well with these particular vegetables. You can certainly use individual spices on your roasted vegetables, but a blend is kind of a nice way to get a combination of things. And in a lot of ways, it's cheaper and easier to get a blend than to buy a whole bunch of different individual spices, especially because spices have a bit of a shelf life. So after six months or so, they just don't have as much good flavor in them anymore. So if you get a mix and you're gonna use it regularly, you can use it all up while it is still fresh. So while I've been chopping, the asparagus is, I uh, think, done. Oh yeah. It's bright green. The tops are a little bit browned. There's some caramelizing on the edges here and it's nice and soft. Boom, roasted. I've got the potatoes chopped along with some onion, some zucchini and some red pepper. I'm gonna mix this all together right on the pan because why use an extra dish if you don't have to? adding some olive oil and some salt. Now, if you pick up a spice mix and it's already got salt in it, you don't need to add salt. But because the one I have is just herbs, I'm gonna add some salt. That way you can kind of add it to taste. And if you are trying to stay away from salt and sodium in your diet, you can skip it completely and use just the herbs to flavor these veggies. And that's gonna be just fine. Especially with a mix like this that actually has onion in it, that's gonna add a nice savory pop without necessarily even needing salt. But I added a little bit. And then let's add our herbs. I'm not a big one on measuring, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here and kind of see if we get enough. Let me see, if we started off with, you know, about a teaspoon, that might be enough. I might add a few more. Oh, these smell delicious. They are really fresh. They are far fresher than anything that I have stored in my own spice pantry, which those things sit around for a while. It's great to have some fresh herbs. And then I'm just gonna mix it all in here. Oh, this is gonna be a really nice blend. Just want everything nice and coated. This is gonna take longer than the asparagus. So the asparagus took like 10, 15 minutes. This is probably gonna take more like 30, 40, but we'll keep an eye on it. It's going in. I'm just gonna transfer this asparagus to a little platter here. And then I'm gonna reuse this pan because asparagus got done so quick. Why not? We're gonna do sweet potato fries. 
I often roast sweet potatoes and just do chunks of sweet potato. You could do like rounds, like circles. I've cut them into kind of little strips here. So they're gonna kind of be roasted or baked or roasted sweet potato fry shapes, right? So cut them in the shape that you like. It's not so much important what shape they are. When we cut the sweet potato, we create more surface area. The heat is, can penetrate a little faster than if we were to try to bake or roast an entire whole sweet potato. Okay, let's do this other one too. Most vegetables can be roasted. I'm showing you just a variety of vegetables. I did a video before with roasted beets. Things like turnips can be roasted. I've even roasted radishes before, believe it or not. Carrots, another root vegetable you can roast. I'm gonna roast today some cauliflower. You can roast things like broccoli. You can roast things like green beans. Green beans probably cook for about the same amount of time as asparagus. Obviously peppers can be roasted, onions can be roasted. So it's just another way to prepare vegetables. It's pretty easy and it brings out the flavor of things really well. We also get to choose the flavor that we want to add to these. So, so I'm gonna actually use a taco seasoning mix. There's no reason you can't use this seasoning blend for other things. It has onion, garlic, black pepper, red bell pepper, oregano, chili pepper, and smoked paprika. So it's just spices, that's it. We can put this on here and get these sweet potatoes to taste a little taco-y, let's say. So I'm gonna add a little olive oil. This does not have salt, so I'm going to put, in, put on a little salt. But with sweet potatoes, maybe you don't need salt. I don't need to add pepper because I read the ingredients here and saw that it has pepper in there. This is quite a bit, but I think this is can, the sweet potatoes can handle a good amount of strong flavor. You could also just use like a straight up chili powder on something like this or smoked paprika. I'm gonna put them in the oven at the same time as the potatoes, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them separately. We are gonna wanna flip these at some point. It's gonna start to brown, and we want it to kind of brown evenly on all sides. Put her in. And then we come to the cauliflower. It picks up flavors well, and it tastes fantastic when you roast it. My cauliflower, I'm gonna go a little to the Indian side of things. So I actually have a spice mix. Indian spice blends like curries, I think are a great way to go. This is a 360 shawarma mix, and this has got cumin, paprika, allspice, turmeric, garlic, coriander, and cinnamon in it. So nothing that sounds too crazy, but I may not have all of these spices available. If I do, great, what proportion do I use them in? I do a lot of crazy spice mix, make it up as you go all the time, but it is sometimes just so much easier to have a mix already there for you. And I'm excited to try this one because I also know it's super fresh. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna go great with the cauliflower. You can chop up your cauliflower, or once you've kind of got it trimmed, you can also just break it up. So I may do that now. I'm just gonna break up the pieces. All right, cauliflower is floretted, so I will now add the seasonings. Again, a little bit of olive oil. You probably can roast vegetables without oil. I think it really adds a little something. You don't need to use that much, though. The other thing is it, that it does is it does help to make the spices or the salt or whatever seasoning you're using stick a little bit better to the veggies. Once again, a little bit of salt. And I'm also not gonna bother with pepper on this one because there's plenty of flavor coming from this spice blend. This one's more of a powder than like a herb, so I don't wanna get this going everywhere. I probably don't need quite as much of it. All right, so I'm using about a teaspoon. Let's see. I can maybe do a little more than that. I really try to coat this cauliflower. Oh yeah, man. I actually like my cauliflower really well roasted. So it will get to the point where it's cooked through, it's soft, 
but I sometimes will let it go longer until it starts to get really brown and caramelized. It tastes so fantastic that way, so try it. This is something that you can really experiment with. See how much spice you like, see which spices you think go with which vegetables. I could have totally swapped it around and used Italian spices on the cauliflower and use this shawarma spice on the sweet potatoes and use the chili spice on the potatoes and the mixed vegetables. I actually sometimes will use like nutritional yeast even on something like cauliflower. I think I can fit this in the oven along with my other two pans. Who got roasted now? Yeah, that's right, sweet potato fries. Not looking so sweet now because you're salty and you're sassy. Keep classy, sweet potato fries. Oh, roasted mixed vegetables. What's going on, potato? Honey. Finally in your perfect form? Honey, honey. Roasted. Okay, calm down, calm down. They've been really, really roasted. You're just giving them a hard time now. Asparagus, who's wilting now? Look at you all soggy and like, oh, I can't stand up because I'm asparagus. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. This started out as a good idea. Into... I know. <laughs> You're a master roaster. <laughs> Am I though? Now you can be a master taster. Let's taste okay. them all. Sounds good. So we've got asparagus. These are actually still kind of cold because these are done first. If I was trying to get them done all at the same time, I would have done the asparagus last. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's good. Well done. Mm -hmm. Roasted. These have Italian spices on them. Fingers. Okay. I'm a fan of fingers. They're not that hot. Maybe not perfect. Yeah, this is good food prep mm, mm -hmm. technique, sanitary and everything. And we're at home. It's good. good. This is a good, I think a good side dish. This would go really well with any kind of protein mm -hmm. that you want to serve for a meal. Sweet potato fries. You want to try one? Mm. You know, I don't love sweet potatoes. Okay, but... let's see how these are then. Okay. Mm, they're good. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. I just need additional sauce. Yeah, you can dip them in ketchup or... um. No? What would you dip them in? Uh, like barbecue or A1. Yeah, you could do that. I love these. They're good. Asparagus takes the prize. Okay. In Joe's eyes. Wow. Okay, but we still got cauliflower. That's still in the oven. I let this roast for like an hour because I like them when they're really nice and mushy. They're super crispy. You want to taste? I will wait till it cools just okay. a little bit. Okay. I'll give you a little tiny piece. <sighs> Fine, like evidently I can't one. leave until I, I taste this. No one's holding you hostage. You are! Walk away! Okay. <gasps> See? But no, tell me how it is. Mm -hmm. I want to know what you think. It's good. I mean, just the cauliflower roasted texture is just nice, I think. Yeah. It's got that nice the mix of crunchy nice. and... This one might also be nice if you drizzled like a little vinegar or something over it. I think it might be that. Yeah. Or even some lemon juice would be excellent. It's a little crunchy and crispy on the outside, but it's soft and creamy on the inside. I honestly could just eat this whole tray, uh, <laughs> but I won't. These are also really great for like a meal prep night because you can store these and reheat them. Do this much roasting in one shot, and then you got food for days. Mm. Enjoy your vegetable roasting. Let me know in the comments what kind of vegetable you like to roast and how you like to roast it. Asparagus. Ooh, ooh, look, I've got little florets on top of me. What's the matter? Couldn't flower floret? Cauliflower. Yeah. You're nothing but a brain spit split in half. And you don't even have half a brain. Roasted. Knife. <laughs> what you doing there? If we stick you in the oven, you may melt. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> Tray. What you doing there? Just holding things up? Getting them all roasty? Well, get toasted, because you're roasted. <laughs> you're still going to grow up to be a vegetable, just like your father. Yeah, this is going to be hot. You want to taste one? You said just said it was going to be hot. It's still steaming from the oven. Yep. You want to taste one? No! <laughs> I don't want to burn my mouth. All right, tongue. Roasted! <laughs> what not to do at home. <laughs>